Oh, one second. You guys have been there the whole time? Uh, just grabbing a late lunch here at Subway. Check this out. Do you see that? 55. I am absolutely pumped. I love warm weather and I cannot wait for the warm weather to be here permanently. They give us these little days that just teases us of 55 degrees and we're like, yes, and then tomorrow it'll be three degrees. Nitro cold brew. <clears throat> I think I have a problem. I have received a package in the mail yesterday. And I'm pumped. I don't know what it is, but it's from someone awesome. Bam! I have a mysterious SPE box in the mail. I have no idea what it is. They never called me. I have no clue. They never said anything. Yesterday in the mail. Modern Diesel. From SPE. What could this be? We have only one thing to do. A proper unbox. But first, let's head to the garage. Alrighty guys, we have made it back to the garage. Um, anyways, we have received a mystery package from SPE, as you already know. So, we're gonna do a proper unboxing. Oh yeah! You know what this is? You know what this is? You know what this is? This, my friends, is a crankcase ventilation reroute from SPE, from the guys at SPE. Wow, I can't believe it. There was a note. Hey, Corey, uh, we seen your last video about the crankcase oil in your intercooler system, and then we thought, but... guys, thank you for the crankcase reroute kit. Shout out to SPE, go give them a follow right now. They sent this to me, they seen my last video on putting the, uh, well, they were there because it was at their shop, but they seen the video of me installing the cold side intercooler pipe fix and they uh, heard me talking about all the oil in there and took it upon themselves to send me this. This is awesome. This is excellent. This is their whole design in-house kit to reroute the crankcase vent to the atmosphere instead of running it into your intake. Super pumped. Couldn't be happier. Thank you, Dan and Amy. Go check out SPE. Alrighty, so some of you guys may be wondering, what the heck is a uh, crankcase ventilation system? Essentially, it means exactly what its name is. It's a vent that vents out the crankcase. So what's happening as your vehicle is running, there is combustion happening in your cylinders. Your diesel fuel is exploding in there. Um, a tiny little bit of that gas will seep by your pistons called blow-by. So that blow-by then enters the crankcase area, hence the bottom end, aka whatever you want to call it down there. Um, so those gases and that pressure needs to go somewhere. You can't really have your bottom end being pressurized because you'll have oil leaks and nothing will seal right and you'll just have problems and the truck won't run right and idle will be off and you know, whatever, it'll just cause a bunch of problems. So that pressure and that gas needs vented out somewhere, hence crankcase ventilation system. So the engineers decided to take that crankcase vent and not route it to the atmosphere, but route it back into the intake of your engine. So you just have a never ending circle of gases into the engine. So what happens is all of that gas comes out of your crank, it goes right back into your intake right before your turbo. So then that sucks through your turbo, through your intercooler, back in through your intake system, in through your intake valves, into the cylinder, ready for ignition. To me, honestly, that just doesn't make sense. Why would you wanna bring in dirty air for combustion? 
So if you caught my last video where we did the cold side intercooler pipe, you would have seen all of that oil in there. And yes, I've seen a couple comments about me not cleaning that sensor. I, however, did not clean the sensor, but Ronnie did clean the sensor. So the sensor went back in the truck clean. Thank you very much. Um, you've seen all that oil in the uh, intercooler piping, right where the throttle body connects. You've seen all that oil. I wiped it with my finger. And then inside that hose, you've seen all that oil. Now that is coming out of the intercooler. So picture that already went through the turbo, that already went through the hot side pipe, that already went through the intercooler and came out of the cold side of the intercooler, ready to go into the intake manifold of the truck, ready for combustion. So your intercooler is getting plugged up with oil. All of that oil is seeping into your whole entire intercooler piping system. And all of that oil is going in through your intake manifold into your intake valves. I hope that can put a little perspective on what's happening with the crankcase vent. I personally didn't know it was that much oil. That is a lot of oil to be routed back into the intake system of a vehicle. So today's the day this truck gets full, clean, crisp, brand new air, no more oil, only fresh air with this. Can you see that? Now the magic happens in this part here. This is the part that actually connects to the part where the gas comes out of your engine. This part here allows mainly only gases to escape. If you've ever seen a high performance car where they have a catch can, that catch can will fill up with oil because so much pressure is building in the bottom end of that vehicle, of that engine, that it's pushing out the oil with the gas. So the key is, is you don't want to lose oil, but you want the gases to escape. So this is Dan's specifically engineered part to allow the gases to escape and no oil. If you are a longtime viewer of the channel, you would have seen a thousand horsepower power stroke that he built. Um, with their stage two long block and their whole procedure anyways, it made a thousand horsepower on the dyno. Video footage of that is linked somewhere here. Um, that truck in fact had this crankcase vent reroute kit on it and it spewed out zero oil, only the gases, which is very good. So now that I sat here and ranted about crankcase vents, I hope that painted some kind of a picture for you guys out there to see what a crankcase vent system is and why you should lean towards rerouting that from going back into your intake. The time has come to start installing the part. Let's make it happen. If you guys were wondering why I have this old red motorcycle lift here, this is the exact reason. If you don't have a topside creeper handy and you want a platform to stand on, a motorcycle lift literally works magic. As you can see there, the whole box is out. So what I did was I pulled the uh, fuel filter out. Um, then I took out four bolts. There's four of these 10 millimeter bolts. And uh, once I got those all out, the box simply just lifted right out. You can see this is the oil return. This is the outlet there back there in the back corner. That's where the oil comes out of the engine. And then this is where the oil goes back in. And then you've seen that hose that hooked up right here. That is where the gases went into the intake right in front of the turbo. Um, but I popped off the hot side intercooler piping and look how much oil is in there. It is crazy. The amount of oil pouring out of there. It's, it's brutal. But this is the box here. Um, this little safety clip here in the back is honestly a pain. I, uh, what I ended up doing was just cutting it. I'm not putting this back on. So I snipped it there so I could get the box out. And then I started messing with this. All I ended up doing was see that little safety tab right there. I got in there with a little flathead screwdriver, lifted up that safety tab on just two of them, that tab and that tab. And I was able to pull this right off. So box is out. This is the box here. 
Look at the oil that goes through that sucker. It's unbelievable. Now guys, I know there's some controversy about saying that, you know, the, the intake will pull a vacuum and help suck the crankcase gas out of your, your bottom end. But as you can see with the new engines here, with the box being there's no way a vacuum can occur to create suction to pull out the exhaust gases, which just makes zero sense. I have never used one of these uh, heat shrink um, little coolant line thingies. Slip it onto your line and then you put it onto wherever you need to put it and you heat this up and it will create a permanent seal. It's one time use, super tight. You don't have to worry about any clamps or anything. Um, so this goes onto the actual cap for the back. Put it on like so, heat this up, one time seal and you're done. Alrighty guys, we are 100% done. That cap right there with the hose you can see the SPE symbol. So that hose is the back one where the actual crankcase vent outlet is. So what the kit calls for to do is to attach that to the uh, cap, um, run your hose up over the brake booster, straight down the gap there, and then it will vent out here. Um, got a little trimming to do obviously, but it'll just vent right there, which is really, really easy. Um, so I have that in, everything's tight. Um, bolts are tight there, front cap here, which would have been the oil drain from the uh, can itself, um, is plugged with the SPE plug. I have my fuel filter back in, and then I have my little rubber plug covering my inlet to the intake right there. Isn't it crazy how tools accumulate up here whenever you're working on a vehicle? Ooh, I got some oil right there or something. All right, she cycled a few times, now we're gonna fire it up. Everything is looking good. Here's our vent here. Can feel a tiny bit. That's it. Now the truck is getting 100% fresh air. Alrighty, guys. We are 100% done, the job is finished. Um, SPE CCV reroute kit installed, excellent. Everything's great. Um, everything installed very, very easy. This is an honest review, this is unbiased. Even though they sent that to me, shout out to SPE. They sent me this kit because they seen my last video, how I was complaining about the oil through the uh, intercooler piping system. And uh, what do you know it? Package showed up, SPE Goods. If you guys want one of these for your 6.7 Power Shoke, hit the first link in the description, go check it out. Um, I highly recommend it off the install. I'm gonna run it for a few more days here and then I'm gonna come back with an honest driving overview, uh, maybe like first thousand miles. So that is about it for today, guys. We had a nice little heat wave and it has been awesome. If you are not, make sure you guys are following us on Instagram, second link in the description, go check it out. Today was an awesome day in the garage. I literally love just being in here by myself, working, making videos for you guys out there. It was just, today couldn't have been better. It was warm, I was working in a t-shirt. I cannot wait for summer. But that is it for today, guys. I'm getting ready to head to the house. As always, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a up price to y'all. Snake eyes on dice to y'all. Shoulders on ice to y'all. Frozen. 8-6 all the hate. I won't get involved today. Got lost in the ball and A's. I'm